This is Lesson 105, the HDL Example 71, and this will be our first example of using the VGA controller to display some horizontal stripes on the video monitor. Now the VGA port is this connector on the Nexus 2 board. You would connect this to the VGA monitor. And this is what we want to produce, a series of green and red stripes on the screen. And this will be the top level design. From clock div we'll get a 25 megahertz clock. That's going to be the pixel clock. And then we need to make a VGA 640 by 480 module to generate our horizontal and vertical sync pulses. We'll also bring out the horizontal and vertical counters that we use to produce the H-sync and V-sync signals and also a signal called video on which will be on if the display is within the visible region of the screen that is excluding the front and back porches and the, and the sync pulses. Then VGA stripes will actually generate the three red, three green, and two blue signals. So recall that this is the horizontal timing. Remember the pixel clock is 25 megahertz. We're going to make a counter, horizontal counter, which is going to count along here. And we want to be able to count at least up to 800 because we need to get 800 pixels. So we'll make basically a modulo 800 counter. And then we can make this sync pulse by counting to well, 128 in this case. And then if we add the back porch, add 16 to 128, we'll get to 144. So when the count gets to 144, we'll call that the back porch. Then we'll have the horizontal video range when the, when the picture is on. That's going to go for 640 pixels. That gets us up to 784. And then if you add the 16 more for the front porch, you'll get up to 800. Remember, the total number of horizontal scan lines is going to be 521. So we have a similar diagram for the vertical timing. In this case, the sync pulse is only going to be for two pixels. We'll add the back porch 29, that'll get to 31, so remember this 31 number. And then we add the 480 pixels for the vertical size of the image. We'll get to 511. And then if you add the front porch, we'll get up to 521, which is the total vertical timing. So we'll need a vertical counter as well, which will count from 0 to 511. Here is the VHDL program. We'll call it VGA 640 by 480. We've got a clock and clear coming in, and the outputs are going to be the H-sync and V-sync, horizontal and vertical sync pulses, and we'll bring out the horizontal counter and the vertical counter. There'll be 10-bit counters and the video on signal, which is 1 when you're in the display region. So first we'll define a bunch of constants. H pixels is going to be 800. That's the number of pixels along the vertical line. So this is the binary value for 800. So that's what H pixels is going to be. V lines are the number of vertical lines, 521. So we'll set that to B lines. HBP is the horizontal back porch. Remember that was the 128 for the sync pulse plus the 16, that's the 144, so this number is 144. When the counter gets the horizontal front porch, that's the 128 plus the 16 plus the 640, or the 784. The vertical back porch is 31, remember it's 2 pixels for the vertical sync pulse plus the 29 for the back porch. So this binary number is 31. The vertical front porch is 511. That's 2 for the sync pulse, plus 29, plus the 480 display region. And then we'll have signals, horizontal counter, vertical counter signals. These are the signals for the horizontal and vertical counters. There'll also be a signal called VS enable, which will enable the vertical counter. So the first thing we need is a horizontal counter, so this is basically a modulo 800 counter, similar to the counters we had before. 
asynchronous clear, else in the rising edge of the clock, if the horizontal counter is equal to h pixels minus 1, that's 800 minus 1, then we reach the end of the pixel count, so we'll reset it to 0, and we'll enable this VS enable. So this gets enabled for one clock pulse. As we'll see, we'll use this to determine whether we're going to increment the vertical counter or not. Otherwise, we just increment the horizontal counter, make sure the VS enable is 0, and that's our modulo 800 counter. <coughs> so to calculate the horizontal sync pulse, well that's just going to be 0 when the horizontal counter is less than 128, else 1. So this statement is, will give us the horizontal sync pulse. <coughs> Remember it's low when the counter is between 0 and 127. So we'll do a similar thing for the vertical counter. The only difference is <coughs> that we'll have a clock tick event and clock equals 1, that is on the rising edge of the clock and VS enable equals 1. Remember VS enable equals 1 only occurs at the end of each horizontal line when we reset the horizontal counter. So the vertical counter will only get incremented when a new horizontal line is created. Then if the horizontal counter is less is equal to V lines minus 1 that is 521 minus 1, then we'll reset the vertical counter, otherwise we just increment it. And we'll compute the V-sync signals in the same way we did with the horizontal sync is equal to 0 when the vertical counter is less than 2, else it's 1. So we've now generated both the horizontal and vertical sync pulses. We'll compute video on, that's going to be equal to 1 when the horizontal counter is less than the front porch and greater than or equal to the back porch, and when the vertical counter is less than the vertical front porch, and greater than or equal to the vertical back porch. Otherwise it's zero. And then the HC and V-sync output signals get set just to the horizontal and vertical counter signals. Okay, so that's this module, which generates H-sync and V-sync. <coughs> and now we need to uh, design this VGA stripes. Well, we're going to have a bunch of uh, red and green stripes. Each of these is going to be 16 pixels wide. If you count them, you'll see there are 15 uh, red and 15 green. So a total of 30 times 16 is going to be the 480. So each of these, the width of the stripes, is 16 pixels. So how can we do that? <coughs> <clears throat> well, let's go back and recall our 8-bit counter simulation that we had. And you remember the output of this 8-bit counter, Q0 to Q1. Each of these Qs is another clock frequency at half the frequency. Well, this is so fast we can't see the original clock and this Q0. So let's assume that this Q1 is our pixel clock, our 25 megahertz clock so we can see it. So this means that on every clock pulse here, that corresponds to one pixel on the screen. Now, here's Q2 is half of that. Here's Q3. So for example, if we used uh, Q3 for, say, the red signal, then we would have two pixels uh, of red here, and there would be no red. So if we made green, say, uh, not uh, Q3, then that would display uh, two pixels of green and then two pixels of red. If we pick Q4, that would be half again and half again. Well, to get 16, we need to go all the way up to Q6. Well, if this were really our clock pulse, this would end up being Q4, you see. So, suppose that this Q6 signal was red, that means when when red was high, the red would be displayed, would be displaying these 16 pixels. And if we knotted Q6 for green, then green would be off here and green would be on there. So that's the idea. So 
let's go back to VGA stripes. We have HC and VC for the counters as inputs, and the red, green, and blue are going to be the outputs. So we'll have a process video on and VC. So the red, remember, we have three bits of red, so that's going to be three zeros, green, three zeros, blue, two zeros for default. And then if video on equals one, that is in the display region, we'll set red, where well we need three bits, we'll make them each VC4, because we just decided that VC4, that corresponds to Q4 in the counter, would give us 16 pixels. So we concatenate these together, and green will just be not those vertical counters. So that's VGA stripes. Let's make the top level design. That's straightforward. We have a component for clock div, for BGA 640 by 480, and for BGA stripes. The input will be our 50 megahertz M clock. Buttons for our clear. Here's H sync and V sync out in red, green, and blue. So we'll make the uh, port map for clock div. We've got signals HC and VC. Here's the component BGA 640 by 480. We'll port map that, and we'll port map the BGA stripes. So let's look at the simulation. This is one video frame. Notice we've simulated it for 16.67 milliseconds. If you look at the vertical sync, you'll see there's the vertical sync, and here's the next vertical sync. So it's exactly 16.67. You can see the red and the green. Uh, here's uh, a bunch of reds. This is going to be green on, red on, green on, and so forth. As you go down the screen, there are the 16 stripes. You see here's VC4. You can't uh, the clock 25, which is our pixel clock, is so much you can't see it. Uh, we can actually blow that up. <laughs> Let's look at the first 36 visible lines. Now here's the H sync. So each one of these is, corresponds to one vertical, one horizontal line on the screen. Each those are the horizontal sync pulses. And here's the video on. You see it goes off during the vertical retrace. So the first line will be green. Here's green, you see. Seven. That means all the, th the three bits of green are on. And there are 16 of them. And then green goes off and the red goes on. So that should display the, um, that should display the red, green, and here they are. We have 15 rows of green, 15 rows of red. Now, you should be able to figure out, for example, how to make the lines wider or thinner by, instead of using BC4, use some other output of the vertical counter. And you also should be able to figure out how to make vertical stripes instead of horizontal stripes. So, I'll let you figure that out.